All right, we're good to go. Good evening, students, teachers, and guests, and welcome to our 2020 Project Lead the Way Capstone Night. My name is Michael Quigg, and I'm the very proud principal of Aberdeen High School. Tonight's recognition is a time for looking back on lessons learned, adventures shared, and moments filled with special meaning. It's also a time for looking forward, a time to set goals and dream new dreams. Most importantly, it's a time for us to recognize and celebrate your amazing accomplishments. This evening, we'll hear our students' accomplishments and honor their exemplary performance in our PLTW program. These students have worked hard over the last four years and have overcome many obstacles, some of which we've never faced before. Despite numerous challenges, our students have demonstrated their perseverance and tenacity towards achieving their goals and reaching their fullest potential. As you will hear this evening, our PLTW program has provided our students with concrete, hands-on learning experiences, which have allowed them to better evaluate careers in both engineering and technical fields. They've developed a skill set that will follow them into their future endeavors and allow them to make a positive impact on our future. As President Roosevelt stated, we cannot always build the future for our youth, but we can build our youth for the future. Aberdeen High School, and most specifically, the staff of our PLTW program certainly has done their part in building our students prepared for the future ahead. So once again, seniors, congratulations and job well done. So without further ado, I'll turn the program over to Mr. Polak. Uh, thanks, Mr. Quigg. Hey, everyone. I'm Mr. Polak. I teach the Intro to Engineering course in the program. Uh, so this year marks the eighth year of Project Lead the Way, and these seniors represent our fifth graduating class in the program. Uh, throughout the four-year program, students have the opportunity to work through the following courses. There's Intro to Engineering Design, Digital Electronics, Principles of Engineering, Computer Integrated Manufacturing, Civil Engineering and Architecture, uh, and then this, their capstone course, Engineering Design and Development. Uh, as seniors in Project Lead the Way, these young people are very well acclimated with the design process, uh, and their work this year showcases, in conjunction with a wide spectrum of course-specific skills, it really shows their ability to persevere through the design process. Students spent the early months of the year researching problems, uh, looking for ways to make life better by addressing certain tasks or needs. We have 22 students in the senior class, and they were divided into seven groups uh, to design a solution to one of these problems. Student designs included uh, the Better Binder, which is an enhanced three ring binder system designed to improve the durability of binder clips and make pages within the binder easier to access. Uh, tight Write, a convenient snap together alternative to the traditional school backpack uh, in order for students to transport school items like books and folders. The Active Assailant Blockade, which is a quick, easily accessible uh, covering for doors with the ability to slide over glass windowed portions of the door, uh, and it acts as a physical, uh, visual and physical barrier during an active assailant event. The Compactor, which is a shoe storage compartment that not only stores your shoes, but also removes odors by blasting bacteria with a UV light. The Deployable Spill Cover, a dome-shaped device designed to mark and contain spills, uh, while also actively drying them with a fan mechanism. The hexa hold, which addresses the problem of fire extinguishers often being buried in cabinet clutter. So this design would allow uh, extinguishers to be attached to cabinets for easy access during emergencies. And then finally, the phosphate buoy, which would serve as a filter and could be deployed into the Chesapeake Bay to clean up the water and filter out pesticides and other damaging chemicals. Um, so for all these projects, solid implementation of the design process was critical. Throughout the year, students had to consider things like, how can I maintain an open-minded approach? How can I work in a team, uh, rely on the strengths of others, and be open about my own strengths and weaknesses? What can we learn from testing, and how can a failed or flawed prototype pave the way for a more successful design? While due to circumstances beyond anyone's control, not all of these designs were able to make it to their final stages. Um, they nevertheless are impressive and, a creative, uh, and creative accomplishments and are the result of students embracing and uh, an engineering mindset. 
So seniors, tonight we celebrate your accomplishment and your completion of the program. And we look forward to hearing about what you guys go on to achieve down the line. Congrats to everyone. Uh, now I'll send it over to your keynote speaker, Mr. Webster. Oh, where am I at here? Good evening, <clears throat> PLTW class of 2020. We have seen you all mature and grow. It's amazing how you can go from not being able to find the inventor icon to mastering a Fusion 360 folding pattern. It is amazing to see you struggle to put batteries in a device correctly to then designing, creating, and soldering your own circuit board. It is amazing to watch you go from never have written any code to running and executing a complex code that controls a servo and a motor simultaneously. The amazement continued <clears throat> when we watch you generate or attempt to generate a marble sorter that could effectively determine size, color, and many other features with sensors and other VEX robotic parts. And finally, it was amazing to watch you develop your own project with your own solution. Many people think PLTW is about notebooks, but it's not about notebooks, not about PCBs, fusion, or multi-SIM. It's about the process of solving problems. In every course you finished, you earn a small badge that was part of this process. You are now done and you have the full complete badge set. There were many times as teachers, uh, at, we as teachers tried to figure out how to code, construct, or develop a solution. And we thank you for helping us work through the challenging problem solving process with you. The PLTW staff is very lucky <clears throat> that we have the opportunity to see you in multiple courses, not just PLTW, where you showcase your skills. Many of you continue to challenge yourselves by taking other courses like AP Bio, AP Stat, Honors Algebra 2, where we get to see your smiling faces for a large portion of the day. And to this day, I don't know why you would want to elect to have Mr. Polak, Milnes, Brown, or I for most of your schedule, but we managed to work through it and we all survived. One of the best parts of being a part of the PLTW crew <clears throat> is watching you mature and begin the college search. Once that begins, we realize that you have grown and you're ready for the next phase of your life. Just like most of Maryland now is in phase one, you too are also approaching another phase. I had a dream <clears throat> where we went back to school and I walked into the EDD classroom uh, and everybody was wearing face masks. Of course, Hunter and Joe were wearing a face mask that was sort of edgy. Nigel had his Instagram handle written on his mask. And, well, Gabe, of course, was wearing a mask that had Mr. Krabs on it, of which Mr. Brown had the legal inability to make him take it off. It pains me to think that this year was cut short. But it is amazing that you guys did not let that stop you from learning. You may think that the world's current situation <clears throat> is devastating to your engineering future, but really, I think this could be an amazing opportunity. You can turn on any news channel and see a current worldwide problem that needs a solution. Small or big, this could be an amazing time for you to help the world develop solutions to big and small problems. I feel I have reached my time limit as I can sense some of you out there checking your phones or clicking another tab on your browser. So PLTW class of 2020, congrats and good luck. Thank you, Mr. Webster, for that inspirational speech. Now we're going to present our class of 2020 Project Lead the Way engineers, starting with Group 1, Gabriel Ballard.
Elijah Mendez. Raphael Taylor. I guess that group must have had to work. Uh, group two, the tight right, Kale Bowman. Nigel Diggs. Real quick. Hold up. <laughs> Y'all see me? <laughs> Hold up. Here we go. I'm on there. I'm on there. Ah. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Here we go. Right, let's see. I got my fish tank in the back. All right, Mert. Do I do I keep the camera on? No, you turn you turn it back off. Thank you. All right. All right. Mert Inak. Thank you so much. <clears throat> now on to group three, the active assailant blockade. Daniel Admasu. Congrats, PLTW. We did it, you guys. Joseph Fry, the second. Hunter Lilly. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Group four, the compactor, Raymond Chen. Hello. Edgar Irby the third. Hello. Selena Hamilton. Hi. <laughs> Group five, the deployable spill cover. Eric Flemings, Jr. Again, hello. Hi. Rylees Orengo. Thank you. Harry Wellborn. Group six, the Hexahold, Ethan Davis. Mark Grimsley, Jr. Thank you. Christian Rucker. Thank you. And lastly, group seven, the phosphate buoy, Joshua Cox. Thank you. Thank you. Prapawadi KO now. Thank you.
Teddy Legros. Hey guys. Thank you. And Amira Smith. Congratulations to all of our seniors. Best of luck to you in the future. Now to Mr. Brown. All right. Thank you, Ms. Milnes. Um, you did a great job there with all the names. I know we were practicing earlier. Um, so, and, and, and awesome, awesome uh, to all our seniors. You guys look great, all dressed up and fancy. It must be nice to put on some dress clothes during this, uh, during the quarantine. You know, you had, it's nice to have a reason to dress up for something exciting. Um, so the next thing we're gonna move forward with is our presentation of our Outstanding Senior Award. And so uh, at this time, we, uh, so, so the Outstanding Senior PLTW student, typically we do at our Senior Award. Um, and we pick a student who really embodies um, Project Lead the Way and what it means to be an engineer and a problem solver. Uh, and as Mr. Polak did such a phenomenal job outlining earlier about the design process and the engineering process, we talk about, uh, you know, as we, we as teachers, when we um, get together and discuss who we think is deserving of such an award, we talk about a student's ability to A, perform in the classroom, uh, you know, maintaining good grades and finishing projects, working collaboratively in a team, and, uh, you know, having, uh, you know, abundance of ideas that are outside the box, being leaders within their, within their groups, and also being good followers uh, when the time asks that they also are working from a different role. So uh, we as teachers, we had a lot to pick from this year where we, we threw a lot of names out, um, and often we give one, but this year we decided to give two. So I'm going to announce our two, uh, our two winners of this year's Outstanding PLTW student. Um, as I announce your name, you can go ahead and just say, you know, click your video on and say, hey, thanks, so we can see who you are. Um, and then I'll announce the second one. So our first recipient this year is uh, Joshua Cox. Hey, thank you. Uh, sorry, I don't have a camera. That's, that's I, I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Awesome job, Joshua. Congratulations. And our second recipient this year is going to be Selena Hamilton. Sorry, my thing is lagging. Thank you. All right. Awesome. So um, I, I know it, it's a little different, uh, but every time I see one of you guys, I'm at home in my house really young, like, hey, or I'm waving at the screen and you can't even see me, but... Just know we're celebrating along with you guys and congratulations to those two recipients as you guys did an awesome job this year. Um, the last thing is I'm going to end with a few remarks as we, uh, you know, as we finish this up um, and I'm going to start with some thank yous. I want to say thank you to uh, all of our PLTW staff, um, be it administra administrators or our teachers. Um, there are several uh, adults who uh, really go out of their way to make sure that things work well for Project Lead the Way. And not every school has an opportunity like this. And um, it's nice to know that we are supported within the Aberdeen High School family and that really we go as far as we can to make sure that kids have a great opportunity to be exposed to the world of engineering and hopefully to create some leaders in that field in the future. Um, I wanna say thank you to uh, students uh, you guys did a great job. You should be proud of yourselves. Um, you made it. <laughs> I know uh, at times it may have felt like you weren't going to make it. At times it may have felt like it was crazy. And then with all the stuff that has happened, you know, most recently, it may have even seemed like just as you almost made it, you weren't going to make it. But the good news is we did make it. Um, and you guys really made it. And it's a testament to your perseverance and your hard work. Uh, Normally we'd be in a uh, uh, auditorium and your parents would all be there. And this is the part where I'd say that I want to thank the parents of all you guys. And I'd ask you guys to also thank your parents. So I know you, I can't see you do it, but if you're sitting in the house with your parents, you should turn and tell your parents thank you for all the support that they have had for you over the past four years, all the uh, times they've had to help you with projects, 
or they, you know, you wait till the last second, they got to run out and get the materials or, or whatever it is that they do to support you and really make sure that you're successful. And we'd give parents a round of applause. So at this time, I say to the parents, thank you guys again as well. Um, it is uh, always a little bittersweet when it comes to the end of this, uh, to the end of this whole thing, because, you know, over four years, I, I've seen many of you in probably three classes, if not at some points, four. So uh, it's a little bittersweet to see, you know, that you guys have grown and that you're going to leave. Um, and that's a little sad at times. And, uh, I, I, you know, I never try to get too soft. I'm not too much of a softie, as you guys all know. Um, but it is sad to see you guys go because there is, you know, a little bit of a bond that we form as a PLTW family. But on the other end, it's very exciting to know that you guys are going to go off, uh, have bright futures and, and really make a difference in the world. You guys have learned all the stuff you need to begin to have the great beginnings of an engineer, to be problem solvers, to be leaders in your fields and to be successful. And so um, I'm going to give you guys a round of applause because you made it and it's a great job. You should be proud of yourselves. Um, last thing is I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight uh, in support of these seniors and finishing up. It's no small feat that they made it through and that they made it through in good fashion. Um, thank you all for being here tonight. Uh, take care and stay safe out there um, and have a good one. All right. Thank you.